That fell. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So today we are going to make a a little drilling ship. Need something to get some material and ore and all that kind of fancy stuff. And we're gonna first grind off these little pieces that we don't need anymore. Boom, boom, boom. Grinding, grinding all night long. <laughs> You notice I ended up removing a couple of the GPS pieces, and I added a couple of mods for gestures. The way I can do fancy things like clapping. Yay! So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our little lump ship here. If we can get into it. We're going to move it off to the side so we can move this ship around a little bit easier. Oh, wow figure out how to move. Put the grinding module on the side here. Take this ship off. Set our bloop, or not our blueprints, our projector in here so we can turn it on and off. And we're going to load our projector with the Stakonovite. It's a little mining ship that should kick a lot of ass and make it so we can actually get ore. So let's see if we can flip this thing around. Probably yeah. That looks right. Right about there. Take it down a few. Move it forward. Where does that take us? One more forward. We're going to hook it up to... Boom, boom. Dude, right there. We're going to hook it up to this ship that we have right now, the lump. And... Make a little welding attachment on the back side of this ship. So, let's see. Cargo. Oh, not a lot of space. Welding attachment, toss this on there, change the color. Perfect. This will help us out so we don't have to keep going back and forth to the ship to get components and whatnot. We can just stick it straight into the, the lump itself. Small steel tube. Placement blocks. Oops. Just so it's a little easier to take this thing. Okay, first person view. There we go. And we're off one. Let's see. Right there. Go to our projector. And what is that going to be? Horizontal offset. One of the things we want to do before we forget. The disassembler section. Check out our assembler. Throw these in here. And let's get some thruster components because they have a lot of platinum and cobalt. Toss all of those? No, no it's just a Disassemble all of those while we're waiting. Some construction components, probably some interior plate. Let's start tacking this together.
More interior. This will not kill us. <laughs> well, we're on. Sky line. Sing so it fills everything up on this. There. Let's see how hard this is on this guy. Not bad. This is welding. We're gonna help it out. Uh, try not to weld ourselves with this. Ooh. So scary. That welder's so close. And if you just help the w the main welder out seems to go a lot faster. And this saves me from going back and forth on the ship. I had a feeling I was going to do a lot of that, so I figured this was probably going to be one of the best plants that I could do. Big ones take a lot more. Get that. Now we have an ore detector. Sweet. And hopefully we can get a big one on the our main ship too. At least our little starter ship. And that'll allow us to spot at a further distance. The small ship ones are better than the drill, but still not as good. As the large ship ones. There we go. Let's back this up. Turn the projector back on. Let's see. Let's actually do some of the coloring first. Get all this stuff to our primary black color that we're using. We want to keep the red. So it's easier to do this in pieces. Like so. Let's get our medium cargo. Two side pieces. Let's see if we can get these reactors too. We don't have any large steel tubes to do the thrusters on the side. There's an interior plate. Stick away from that welder so it doesn't kill us. We recently updated this so it's got a little timer block and programming block which will allow us to figure out how much capacity we've actually been used on the ship. Hmm. A little bit of lag right there. All these sides done. There. Jump out and help it out. After we get this main component going, we'll just let the blueprint go to town on it. Should do pretty decent. Let's 
It's got four small reactors on this. The Stagato Bite, that is. So our little drilling ship can run the drills and all the thrusters and have super maneuverability. We gotta remember to put the uranium in before we take off with this thing. out of the four. The one on the bottom might be done too. I'll we'll have to see. Well, me. Yeah, that's just looking too dangerous. Let's move this forward just a hair. Do the coloring really quick on the cargo unit. Right there. Out of the mess. It looks like it welded everything. Right, let's put this projector back on. Right, got one piece. Okay, that needs to be better. Get that remote control block. Let's try to get that manually. It's probably one of the most important pieces. So we can do our coloring. Should be enough for the main coloring. Let's get back here. Let's get that gyroscope maybe tacked on. Get the gyro. Such a little ship, nice and compact. No cockpit, just pure remote control. welder takes a little bit longer. Somebody else was saying that uh, anything that's attached or in the range of the welder is going to take up uh, space or usage um, trying to get everything going. So it's like even if those blocks are completed, the, w the welding speed isn't going to be as great because it's still trying to register all the other small blocks around it. I 
that's going. Let's check out how we're doing it here. We'll go back to the design. Find the assembler so the auto tack stuff on. Grab some more thruster components. We're gonna disassemble all of these too. That way we've got plenty of platinum and I think it's cobalt that's also gonna be part of that. Two main things that we're looking for out of it. Wanna rotate the ship, but it's still welding everything. Still so much more to go. that we don't care about.
still at 100 health. I haven't welded myself yet. <laughs> Let's have the complete ship taken care of. Woo! Too close. Barely in the safe zone. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Is it working on this last thruster? Just like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Green ship. Still come on. Ooh, that's how you spell it. Looking good. Take remote control of this ship. Headlights work. Go into the first person view. Let's go ahead and stick this shit right over here. So we'll take the side view, turn auto lock on. Looks like it hooked. Turn off the dampeners and exit it. Perfect. What does this ship say it's the number two? I think I had a couple versions and I uploaded the, the number two version. To the workshop. That's okay. Okay. A little bit of time left to do some more. We're gonna work on that setup. Check out our assembler. We're gonna wanna go ahead and make, I think it's six gravity generator component. So back to assembly. That's six. We're going to use those up at the top for a new gravity generator. We're going to put it right next to this collector. Take this block out here. Should be a cargo crate there. Yep, there it is. And we want the spherical. There's a little button panel showing up. To the side. Perfect. So some of the components that we have. We're going to take out these two pieces and we're going to put a ore detector right here. And 
if we go out with our mining ship now, all the loose pieces will fly straight to the spherical gravity generator. Hopefully most of them will go into the collector. Some more on there. Grab some gravity generators. Wherever they might be. And some construction components with that. Some spherical gravity generator. It's gonna pull in everything that's loose, knocked off, straight to the top of the ship. So if we align it properly, the mining endeavors are gonna be a cinch. Let's see if we can go ahead and get one more piece in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, look at that awesomeness. We're gonna set the G's down to. Let's do it this way. Oh, look at that. Random orbits already coming towards us. How awesome. Let's see, what does this piece need? Construction components, motors, computers. Detector components we made. We're pretty full on space already. Jeez. Tack down. More steel plates and computers. Still have extra steel plates, and we can do a little touch up on this. And I think it's construction ponies. We want to put a couple catwalks on top of this so the orbits don't go straight inside of the ship and we'll just kind of drift on the top. Set like that. Not bad. So I think we're going to call it a quits here. We got everything ready to go for the next episode. We've got our new mining ship. We've got our grinder that's sitting there. We've got a gravity generator, a spherical gravity generator, and we've got our ore detector. This ore detector is going to rock on a large ship. If we jump into this, we should see it right off the bat. Awesome. Look at all those pieces. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. And we should have some more entertainment the next time you come by. And we will see you all next time.